who else is obsessed with the song Leave the Door Open by Silk Sonic, which is Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock. So real fast, to begin with, I just want to reinforce a couple things that we've already gone over in some of the previous videos that are common and effective style techniques. So we'll just spend just a minute on this. So to begin with, we've got our slide kind of spoken sung phrase endings. Anderson Pock is all about that in the verses. Let's listen for a sec. Okay, so I think you got the message there. Da da da, da da da. Can you imagine it was da da da, da da da. So boring, but those little slides just give it so much style, for lack of a better word. Number two is the intentional breathy head voice and or falsetto voice in this case. Bruno Mars does it beautifully at the beginning of the chorus. I'ma leave the door open. That first O. He just lets it float and he lets the air seep out. And then the second phrase, he brings it more into a mix of a fuller voice. So the first one's open. I'm gonna leave the door open, babe. So you can hear the difference there. Let's check it out. That one's a little more mixed. Yeah, you know, I got distracted there because did you hear the slide down on the open? Oh, we gotta check that out again. I'ma leave the door open. <laughs> oh, Bruno Mars, the best. Okay, now. The main focus of today's song is a technique that I'm calling rearticulation with an upward connector. Shout out to Rene Ruiz for the rearticulation term. I just could not figure out what to call this. So um, I'm doing a whole other video that's going to be about the more common rearticulation with a downward connector. And that's coming up soon. But today we're working on this little upward one, which is done about four or five times in the song. It's kind of like an easy mini lick. So it's a nice little styling technique. Let's check it out the first time it happens, which is right here. So right there on the word arms is our rearticulation with the upward connector. Basically that means it's the same note. If you try to lay in these arms, our arms, but we're connecting it with this little moment where we go up with our voice, arms, arms, and we just give it a little bit of a rhythmic lilt there. So that high note is just touched, arms, if you try to lay in these arms. Anderson does it too. Let's hear what it sounds like when Anderson does it. So that was ooh, you're so sweet. Ooh, and now fast, ooh. So it takes a little practice. Perhaps you're not quite grabbing it. I'm not sure, because I can't hear you but just try it slow like we've been doing. Ooh, so you're just going up a tiny little half step and right back down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like if you try to control it too hard, ooh, it slows it down. So just let it relax and just let it kind of pop up. There's a couple more moments where this happens. Let's listen to one more. how we do it. Just practice. Get it started slow, then do it fast. Now, of course, we're going to apply it real fast to a song that everybody knows. That's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So we just need to change the rhythm a tiny bit on this one to make it work. So like we could do it on Little. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Right there. Try it. And you could do it on 
wonder how I wonder what you are or on the same place how I wonder what you are try either of those your choice cool so there we have it the re-articulation with an upward connector hope that was useful thanks for joining me Join my mailing list at neuroonlinesingingcoach.com and subscribe here for more videos. Thank you. Marcel, I want you to meet the world.